What's up, guys? It's your boy, The Wolf. All right, so um, I, I guess a lot of you guys... Oh, wait. Let there be light. Ha-ha! Awesome. Powers of a god. All right, so anyway, uh, apparently you guys really like these videos because for the first time in my life, um, I was out just gallivanting. And uh, a guy walks up to me and goes, are you the bad wolf? And I'm like, yeah. I was like, oh, government agent, run! <laughs> but uh, no, it was actually just a awesome fan, so thank you for recognizing me out there. It was a little weird, um, especially because local, most of the people here in my area, they don't either... Uh, they just say most of them aren't interested, but it's growing. It's growing. So that's cool. Uh, but once again, guys, it's not for the fame. I'm just doing this because this is how I live my life. And I also want to provide those people out there who need a helping hand and want to live a little bit better. And then especially in the private. So this is for you. Remember, this channel is not for U.S. citizens. This is for American nationals only. So I'm going to have to ask all of you 12 people in the back there to just exit. And then the rest of the American nationals come forward. And good. Now that the squares are gone, let's get down to business. All right, so um, this is going to be exemptions for withholding. Now, a lot of people asked me a little bit more in-depth information about the WABN or the W4V. So let's take a look at it because there's one part on there that talks about a um, tax treaty. So if you use one of these forms, they want you to put which country you're from and then a tax treaty. So let's just kind of... We're going to kind of combine all that together and, well, take a look. So, if a tax treaty between the United States, which they're not telling if it's, if it's the USA, it's not, or the U.S. corporation, it is. Um, remember, this is all education, guys, so be entertained. And your country provides an exemption from or a reduced rate of withholding for certain items of income, you should notify the payor of the income with the withholding agent, which is going to be your company that you work for or yourself if you are self-employed or your tax accountant if they are the ones who do your filing and papers for you. All right. Of your foreign status to claim the benefits of the treaty. Generally, you do this by filing the W-8BN Certificate of Foreign Status of Beneficial Owner for United States Withholding or the W-8BN-E, the Certificate of Status of Beneficial Owner for United States Tax Withholding and Reporting Entities, or Form 8233, Exemption from Withholding on Compensation for Independent and Certain Dependent Personal Services of Non-Resident Alien Individuals. Okay, guys, so those are going to be your top forms for not paying federal taxes, okay? So obviously, you have to get each one of those forms to see which one you qualify for, talk, talk with your CPA, your attorney, your uh, tax accountant, whoever, you know, the numbers guy, all right? Um, individuals file W-8BN for income tax that is not personal services income and form 8233 for personal services income okay um all right um a reduced rate of withholding applies to a foreign person and so of course it's hyperlinked so you can click this and see what their definition of a foreign person is but if you're watching my channel you should already know um that provides a form wabn or wabne claiming a reduced rate withholding under an income tax treaty only if the foreign person provides a u.s or foreign taxpayer identification number a tin taxpayer identification number so what, what do they say there or a foreign taxpayer identification number foreign eina huh? hmm. um except for certain marketable securities Okay, so that would be a taxable event, like your 401k and some securities are all taxable. So no matter what you do, they're taxable. It's kind of like playing in their sandbox. That's their stuff. Uh, and certifies that the foreign person is a resident of a treaty country, a beneficial owner of the income. Whoa. Is the beneficial owner of the income. Hmm. Hypothetically here off the record. Just a thought. So if you've got an estate number, you're 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 the beneficiary. Any income that's coming into you, 
would then be non-taxable from what they're saying here. Okay, just a thought. I mean, and let's go live. Three, two, okay, and we're back. All right, so uh, if an entity is derived, derives its income within the meaning of Section 894 of the Internal Revenue Code, it is not fiscally transparent and meets any limitation on benefits provisions contained in the treaty. So, for example, a foreign corporation may not be entitled to a reduced rate of withholding unless a minimum percentage of its owners are citizens or residents of the United States or the treaty country. Okay. Beginning January 1st, 2001, the payer of dividends will no longer rely on your address of record as the basis for allowing you the benefit of treaty. The form W-8BN or W-8BNE must be provided to withholding agents to claim a reduced rate of withholding. Okay, so independent contractors, you would be looking at form 8233. Students, trainees, teachers, researchers. Okay, uh, can use form eighty two thirty three to claim exemptions with, uh, from withholding of tax compensations. You will need publication five one nine, U.S. Tax Guide for Aliens. And yeah, it does sound weird to know that. Okay, I guess we're going to pause one moment. All right, guys. Well, that's basically about it. So if you want more information, you're going to want to check out the irs.gov for all of your information. So appreciate you guys watching the channel. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>